Hi guys, it's Sterling Inspector here. As many of you have seen, we have finally have 100% LHR unlock for the 30 series NVIDIA cards. So NiceHash was the first miner to offer the service and I believe it was around Friday that they released the service. Then on Saturday, MB Miner had a release for their 100% unlocker. And now as of today, we have a new release from T-Rex Miner for their 100% LHR unlock. This is the main one everyone's been waiting for, so let's get into how to set this up. So if we want to download this, you must get the test version of the T-Rex Miner, and the link to that will be in the description, or you can find it on their website. They have said in their notes that you have to run the program with admin privileges to get the 100% unlock. They have also released the tested drivers for this unlock. So for Windows, it would be the 512.15, and for Hive OS, it would be 510.60 driver. It then further goes on to say other drivers might have compatibility issues and that the previous LHR mode has been removed. Lastly, it notes if you run into issues, then change the driver and set your memory clocks to around 100 to 200 megahertz lower than that of the previous LHR mode. So you're probably wondering what kind of hash rates you should be getting from your cards. Well, firstly, we're going to go through the expected hash rates and then get into how to set up the T-Rex Miner for the full unlock. Firstly, the 3060 should be getting around 50 mega hash. The 3060 Ti and the regular 3070 should be getting around 60 mega hash. The 3070 Ti should be getting around 80 mega hash. And then lastly, we have the 3080 Ti, which should be getting around 120 mega hash. So it does say here that the 3080 10 gigabyte card is not going to work on T-Rex. So now we know the expected hash rates, let's get into the setup. Firstly, we want to download the new version of T-Rex Miner from their website or the link below. Once downloaded, obviously we want to unzip the file so we have access to all the batch files. Now the next thing we need to do is enable the miner to run with admin privileges. As said in the GitHub, you have to run the program as an admin to make the unlocker work. So to do this, you have to find the T-Rex executable. It's basically the miner program and it should look like this. Once you found it, you want to right click and click on the properties box. Next, we want to find the compatibility tab and click on that. Then look for the box that says change settings for all users. Click on that. And then last, we want to click on the box that says run this program as an admin. Then click apply and exit out. So by doing this, it will automatically run the miner as an admin when you open any of these batch files linked to the miner. Next, we want to make sure that the correct driver is installed. So to do this, just type in NVIDIA drivers in Google and click on the top link. Then go to the advanced search. Once here, we want to go through all the cards sheets and put the driver type to DCH. As mentioned before, the driver for Windows is 512.15. So we want to download either the game ready one or the studio one. And then we want to just perform a clean install and it should be ready to go. Now all we have to do is find our batch file and edit the wallet address and server, which mining pool we want to use. So then we start our miner up, it'll give us a message about the LHR unlock and after a couple minutes it will confirm a share and show us our hash rates. As you can see we have this 3060 up and running. I can push this to around 50 mega hash right now but I'm recording so the hash rate has dropped off a bit. So the last thing to do is to start overclocking your GPUs. Remember it says if you're running into errors that you should lower your memory clock by around 200 of your original ones. Now, if you guys are struggling with the setup, then feel free to join the Discord server and I'll try help you with any problems you have. The link for that is in the description. Let me know what hash rates you've been getting in the comments below. And lastly, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content like this.